What is your favorite game of all time? What is my favorite game of all time? Oh, that's such a hard question. Well, not really. I actually do have a favorite game of all time, unlike the movie question, where there's so many movies that I like that I really can't pick one of them. And sort of like the Let's Play question, where I don't really have like a favorite Let's Player other than, you know, Retro Prey, just because they're the only people I'm really watching anymore. But my favorite game of all time would have to be Metal Gear Solid 3. And... Like, I've noticed that ever since I've played that game, my opinion of it has really, hasn't really really wavered at all. Um, it's just something about that game. You know, it's just the relationship between uh, the boss and Snake that, you know, it's unparalleled. You know, the stuff that happens in that game has never, been, has never happened before in any other game, like before, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, just the way that it conveys emotion and just like wow you know it it radically changed my outlook on the world um it taught me how to think from the perspective of the opposing side like the enemy you know what they're fighting for you know and why you know conflict you know in general is it's meaningless but necessary and stuff like that um and for some reason, it made me read more to conspiracy theories, too. Because basically, all of Metal Gear is really centered around conspiracy theory. <laughs> so it's just like, okay, well, this plot really interests me. It's very intriguing. So I think I'll actually dig into actual conspiracy theories. So, yeah. Um, definitely, I think Metal Gear Solid 3 helped me mold... Helped me mold me in, 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 to become the person that I am today, you know? If that makes any sense just there, there's not another game like it that really affected me the way it did and yeah if you haven't played Metal Gear Solid 3 and if you're a fan of shooters stealth games like that then I'd highly recommend you go play it especially if you are a Metal Gear fan and haven't had the chance to play 3 uh I would recommend getting the HD version you know because I need really, really need to stop saying you know like every five seconds, but <clears throat> yeah, go ahead and get the HD version. I don't know about the 3DS version. I'm gonna have to buy the 3DS version and see if it's up to snuff with the PS2 version. But yeah, just get the HD version and just have a ball with it. Like it's the best game ever created ever for me. You know, a lot of people will say, oh, Metal Gear Solid 4 is better because you get to fight in a giant fucking Metal Gear Rex. And I'm not really dissing 4 because 4 is a phenomenal game. Not even a phenomenal game. It's more like a phenomenal commercial or like a phenomenal film in a way because you're not really playing as much as you are watching. And there's so many, like, there's so much product placement in Metal Gear Solid 4 that it's almost a big turnoff now that I replay it. It's just, it's like, really? They, they really thought to put all this garbage in here? Like, hmm. But yeah, like, that's all I gotta say about Metal Gear Solid 4. I mean, it's a great game, but Jesus Christ, you know? Metal Gear Solid 3, you know, isn't, it, it's not about blatant advertising, you know, trying to make money shit. But it's really more about, like, story and just how it all began. And that's why I love... That's why I like Godfather Part 2 over the original Godfather. Because that's what the Godfather 2 was. Was sort of like how, you know, the whole Corleone thing uh, all began, you know. There you go saying you know again. God damn it. I gotta stop doing that. Okay, next question. What is your favorite game system at this point? Thanks for answering my questions and taking the time to hear me out, and also I apologize in advance for the qu crappy quality, I don't have a decent camera around here, really, so this is the best I can do. Bye bye So, what is my favorite uh, system up to this point? That would be this little bugger right here, the 3DS, and I actually got like a pretty nice print for my interior right here, so... It actually has like a really nice flame print that goes around it. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I love this thing so much. I play, I try to play as much as I possibly can. Uh, I am still haven't gotten all the way through Pokemon Black. I've beaten the Elite Four. I've completed the storyline in both Soul Silver and Black. But um, yeah, for the most part, 
I still have to get through some other portions of both games. Like, I still have to do all the Kanto badges. And, uh, for Pokemon Black, I still have to do the whole... I, I don't even know, like, it's that, it's that part, I don't know, it... it it's everything after you beat the storyline the first time. I still have to do all of that crap. I still have to do all of the legendaries and stuff like that. But for the most part, I the 3DS is a rock-solid uh, portable device. I'm very glad I bought it at the time that I did. Especially after the Game Boy Advance. I don't know. I just felt really disenfranchised with the, with the DS when it came, first came out. And I was just like, eh, you know. Um, I don't know about the whole thing. I just really wasn't impressed by it, but I'm glad I waited out for the 3DS. Very, very happy uh, that I did that. So, to answer your question, right now 3DS is definitely my favorite. What's up, guys? It's Andrew, a.k.a. those other guys, a.k.a. Squirtle. And I have some questions for a little gamer. First of all, what is your best way to, to fill dead air during Let's Play? All right, what is the what is my method of uh, filling up dead air during let's playing? Uh, I, I'm assuming you mean dead air by uh, moments where nothing really happens in the game and you don't really know what to say, or maybe just moments that you just don't really know what to say. Uh, my method is sort of like just bring up something random, like go off on a tangent and just be like oh hey that reminds me of one time you know that happened to me in my life and then i just go on that and then every single time that i do that i instantly like pick up back on my commentary and then I, i'd find somebody something else to talk about so in a way going off on a tangent is sort of like well uh i really hope i'm answering this correctly uh like dead air hmm so I'm assuming, yeah, if that's what you mean by dead air, then yeah, sometimes I just like to go off on a tangent and just, like, do do something not totally unrelated from the Let's Play, but just sort of be like, hey, you know, this reminds me of a time, or, you know, something just happened today that sort of reminds me of, like, this or whatever. So just bring some outside stuff into the LP. That's sort of, like, my last resort method, and that kind of bides time for me to think up of something else to say, but... When you're doing Let's Play... I've noticed that when you do Let's Plays with live commentary, you're always on the edge of your seat while you're playing because you're always focusing on playing the game rather than, you know, thinking up of things to say. So, in a way, you're always going on tangents where you're doing live commentary because, you know, you're always just, like, I don't know. I don't know. That, that's a very good question. It's a very good technical question uh, when it comes to commentary technique. And I think that is, I hope, I hope that that would help other people too. Like, you know, just sort of like bring up something that's outside of the LP that sort of relates to it, you know, because that way they'll add, they'll add to like, oh, hey, you know, you're sort of personalizing the LP a bit, but it'll help you buy time to go back to whatever your native uh, mode of commentary is, whether it be an instructional type of commentary or, or if you're, uh, more of an anecdotal type of person i don't even know if that's a fucking word but you know if, if you're more of a comedian let's player type of person or what have you maybe you do a little bit of both uh i don't know but for the most part yeah that's what i do uh i just go off on tangents <laughs> and hope that i pick up back on track somewhere question two how do you feel in the current state of the wwe what is my opinion on the current state of the WWE. To be honest, I haven't watched wrestling since the 90s. Sorry, bud. Uh, I don't I don't really get into it at all. Um I did get the closest thing that I did get into that's sort of like WWF or the WWE was uh, mixed martial arts. And I actually have a friend on campus who has a club who, uh, who does mar mixed martial arts on a regular basis. So, yeah. Uh, in a way, the question sort of reminded me of my friend, but I don't know. Uh, I don't really get into a whole wrestling thing, especially when you learn that it's fake and that it's really just a horse and pony show. 
you know, it's just, uh, you know, same old crap over and over again. Nothing's really changed. And ever since wrestling's heyday went out in the 90s, you know, it's just, you know, why bother? <laughs> uh, but for the most part, yeah, uh, I don't really follow wrestling or get into wrestling, unfortunately. It's just not my cup of tea. How do you feel about Let's Players branching into other forms of entertainment, like sketch comedy? So what do I feel about Let's Players branching to other forms of entertainment, such as sketch comedy? Uh, go for it? <laughs> I totally welcome that. I mean, YouTube is a place where you can basically upload whatever the hell you want, just as long as it's original. Because, obviously, if it's not original, then we'll shun you and ban you and do all these horrible things to you. You know, rip, ripping off of the testes, etc. Et so, basically, uh, you know, if, if it's whatever you want to do, that's whatever you want to do, you know. Uh, I did vlogs for a short time. I don't know if I'll ever continue doing vlogs. I'm not really much of a vlogger, but, you know, I did it and it was something different from Let's Plays. Um, you know, everybody does vlogs these days, you know, like, who cares? <laughs> but, uh yeah, like, if you're a Let's Player and, you know, if you want to continue doing Let's Plays, but if you want to do some other different things, and especially if it's as creative as uh, sketch comedy, then yeah, go for it. I completely support that. I mean, this is the age of user-created content. So whoever uses the site is also able to create their own forms of entertainment that other people can watch and i think that this is really the future of humanity you know if it keeps progressing this way i think that we can we can eventually just create our own content instead of just having to rely on hollywood and cable television in order to make you know entertainment for us like for example jersey shore and all that bullshit i mean you know who cares about shows like that i'd rather watch stuff on youtube than on cable but, you know, that's just me, I guess. But, yeah, definitely. You're like, yeah, go for it. Go for it. Ever watch Mega 64? No. And lastly, probably the most important question. You mad, bro? I mean, that's going to be it for this video. I'd like to thank a loyal gamer for uh, taking his time to answer some of these questions, as dumb as they may be. See you later, guys. What? What? Can't hear you. I can't hear you over the sound of me winning. Oh, no, no. And I ain't mad. What do you think I'm mad for? What's, what's wrong with you, boy? What's wrong with you? <sighs> Jeez. See, see, this is what happens when I do Q&As. I get questions like this, and... No, it's all right. It's all right. I know you were joking. But, uh... Yeah. No, I guess... All right, and that is it for questions. I will have to send out props to Mr. Ramsey B here on YouTube who submitted a video but didn't ask any questions but made statements. And, uh, yeah, definitely, if you want to just talk to me sometime, you know, just hook up with me on Skype or something, feel free to do it, man. I mean, I haven't done a lot with Minecraft at all lately because I feel like once I start up Minecraft again, I think my soul is just going to be sucked into that whole thing again. So I'm really trying to avoid that game at all costs. I'm really trying to avoid a few games like Skyrim and stuff like that. I, I can't I can't afford to... Oh, no, 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 no. I, I can't afford to play certain games right now. It's already bad enough I'm playing Pokemon. You know, before you know it, it's just going to... One thing is going to lead to another, and I'm going to be stuck in my cave, my man cave, playing all these damn games and pretty much losing any chances of getting a social life so yeah um there's just certain games that i just cannot play that i know that will probably dominate my life but yeah i'm just not ready for those types of games again but i will probably get back into minecraft once what's i'm out of college basically once i'm out of college uh i think i'll be all set but that is it with questions if you have any more questions Please submit them in video format. Uh, I guess a lot of people were kind of shy th this time around because a lot of people, they just didn't have webcams or they didn't want to show their faces on camera. It is completely fine 
to put up like jpegs of random shit well not have to be jpegs per se but just pictures of random shit they could be yeah they could be whatever you want basically but i want i think the most important part is whether i hear your voice you know asking questions or comments if you want uh just in case if you don't have any questions you know you can you don't have to show your face per se but I would like to have it in video format so I can edit it all together seamlessly in one video like you guys just seen here. Um, <clears throat> this was definitely fun. I look forward to doing this again. Uh, Pokemon Blue version will continue uh, maybe this saturday sunday i don't know about oh no i don't know i don't think i could do anything this sunday because i work nine to four this sunday and i have a meeting at work uh towards nine o'clock at night <coughs> so i'm literally going to be up from 9 a.m to 10 o'clock at night and it's going to be absolutely miserable for me but monday I will probably, yeah, Monday I'll probably get back into the swing of things. I'm going to do massive recording up the wazoo. And, yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of that stuff. See me as how it's my uh, spring break and all of that. And my goal, again, is to finish Pokemon Blue uh, within this week in terms of recording. Uh, I'm not really going to rush uploads, but I am just going to, you know, <clears throat> keep it at keep it in a steady schedule so this way i could finally be done with the let's play and at least i'll have two left to go you know pads of dragon saga i'm not really worried about all that much but it's really just arc the lad that oof i haven't defeated the final boss of arc the lad in several years so i'm gonna have to practice up on that <clears throat> the game itself is actually very easy i just need to go through it and just do the recordings you know just do it you know but other than that that would be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any more questions, please send them to me in video format and uh, have them as video responses to this video, okay? I will not accept uh, questions in the comment section. Please post them in video format, all right? Good. <laughs> this is a Loyal Gamer signing out. I love you all. See you guys next time. See you for some more Pokemon later, people.